How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're reviewing another Lego set. This is the Harry Potter set 75950, which is Aragog's Lair. Um, we have two main builds, two minifigures, and some extra little creatures in this, which are nice. So I'm going to show off the spare parts you guys get in this set first. Uh, you guys get some small foliage pieces. You get two wand brackets. Um, a wand would obviously go to each one of the two lads there. But you get the dark brown and you get the lighter brown wand packs, which are nice. You do get a spare eye. Um, these are not the brickhead's eyes. Uh, these are slightly larger. So you get a spare one of them because Aragog has four. Uh, and if you lose one of them, uh, you do have a spare. You get a spare orange flame for the candle accessory with spare tooth and technic pieces as well so i'm going to show off the two little spiders in this set you get three tanned and two black spiders uh, and that is them respectively up close if you guys compare these spiders to the old style lego spiders there is a significant difference these ones look so much more real than these ones are and i think the only the only thing for that is actually just the bending of the legs you know this one's flat um the legs are going sideways whereas these ones the legs are curving and going up and it looks like it's standing standing and it just looks more more menacing and these ones have like the little pinchers on the end there if you guys can just about see that it just looks really really good to me um i'm quite glad that you get some spare of them um so we shall move them to the side. The two minifigures you get in this set is Ron and Harry. Uh, so let's get on to Harry Potter. Uh, he comes with a little candle piece, which looks like the old, like, you'd be walking through your house with your candle when, like, a storm knocks out all your lights or in the old days. And that just looks cool and respectable to me. And I just love the little the little flame there, the little curved flame piece makes it. Uh, you do obviously get one of the wands. Some just a hoodie print there on on his torso. You get the small legs that don't bend, which drive me crazy. Um, they look terrible up front because there's no bendage in it, and it just looks flat and weird. Uh, you do get an alternate face for Harry, which is him being scared, obviously of the spiders, which is which is nice. So that's that's Harry Potter. And you get Ron Weasley. Uh, he comes with a really nice lantern piece. I really like this. It, this whole grey thing is one large piece, and you just shove a transparent yellow uh, kind of cone looking piece up through the bottom of it and there you have a nice lantern you do get a wand with him as well and you get some prints for a hoodie and a red shirt underneath uh, the hoodie there um, small legs again so that's the back print and he does come with an alternate face himself which is him being scared which is actually more um, common in the films than his standard happy face but that looks that looks nice uh, we'll get onto Aragog last. We will get onto the small little tree build. Uh, I got this set for the tree build as I really like things in the backgrounds. I like terrain builds that you get with sets. Um, they I, they always come in handy to me, and I think this looks respectable. I like the big spider web at the back here with the spider in the middle of it. The way it comes out. If you had like multiple trees, if you're doing a forest scene for a movie, you could have like a web connecting tree to tree to tree to tree. Uh, this kind of ping pong looking racket there at the back if you guys can see it is a respectable way of making a, a web like a, a line of web coming down that you can put your spider on um that is a nice little impression of a toadstool there simply done uh some nice foliage tree looks good and this in the middle here is the a printed sticker which is a flick fire missile that you activate from the back here this large vine at the back here is just held in by a carrot stem piece. And up on the very top, you just have some more foliage and, you know, like green leaves sticking out and stuff. And that is respectable looking, and I'm glad I can actually put that into some of my movies to have more trees. Because I don't have many curved pieces like these. Um, I don't have any of them at all to make my own trees. So that is nice. On to Aragog himself. It's quite large. I think it's a respectable build. Um, you have his four eyes there. These can actually move up, but I don't think they're intended to. You know, that's just so you can get his eyes over his jaw. So you wouldn't really be moving that up. All of his legs can bend, each one of them. They're on different levels. If you look underneath his body there, some of these are higher than others. Some are more closer in than others. 
Um, they can all bend. They can bend right up in there to make it look like he's dead. So, you know, spiders curl up their legs when they die. Um, and that looks respectable. All of the legs can move as long as well as moving up and down. You can also move these left to right. You can move these all the way out around here and all the way around there as well as in and out, which is nice. Uh, you can also move, do not move these front ones. They will snap off and go flying. But these ones you can extend out as his front pinchers. You can extend them out, which is which is quite nice. Uh, his back here as well, the back, I don't know what you call them on a spider. I'm just going to, I don't know. Uh, that can also be adjusted, you know, up and down on a little bracket. Um, that's meant to look like it's up. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this set. Um, let me guys know what you think. It's a very, very small set. I know, um, and only has one main action f feature, but it's nice for what it is. I got it on sale in, in Debenhams. There's a 20% deal off on Lego. Uh, I'm not sure is that on in every Debenhams. Um, but if there's one near you, um, most chances are they will be selling Lego and there could pro probably well be a sale on, uh, various sets. So consider having a look and um, seeing what you might be able to nab up. Um, but this is a good set for the price I paid for it, and uh, I quite like what you get with it. So let me guys know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.